So our culture is uh, particularly ageist. There's a prejudice that you should look young and get rid of wrinkles and fight aging. And um, that's very sad because that fear is really uh, trying to control what can't be controlled. You know, living, we're all living and aging from the time we're born, but it becomes more obvious after a certain point. And there are certainly things that happen that are challenging. You know, we may not be able to have as good an eyesight. We might not hear as well. We might have more balance issues. But um, if we can learn to adapt, that's so huge. Okay, I'm not defined by what I look like. It's what's inside that really matters. And I may not be able to run as fast or maybe do math as fast, but I have a wisdom and an insight for perspective about what matters and I can enjoy and live in my life more. So part of what is great is you can make choices now that help your aging process, you know, how you eat, exercise, take care of yourself, how you welcome daily living, so that when bumps in the road come, and they will come, including losing loved ones, which is one of the hardest ones, that you can welcome that, you can still love that person um, because love is eternal. and. Um, I think having warming the heart to one's life and the people in one's life really helps one with the aging process and with losses. And learning how to reassure others, um, you know, we can do a lot in encouraging other people. So I've found in the aging process that there are real medical challenges but a lot of it is our reaction to it. It's not that we don't have unhappy feelings, we don't get, you know, we lose our patience, we get mad, but we come back more quickly to our senses that it is a gift to be alive. Every day is a gift, every day is a page. I write in that in the book of life, and then by the end of my life, I have this gorgeous book, and that's the beauty. If you start out and like you think you have bad news and it is maybe bad news initially and then you start to look at it and realize oh, I'm gonna grow from this I grow from struggle I grow from challenges I get stronger I mean why do I go to the gym you know <laughs> because if I work out I'll get stronger and then I can do planks and I do yoga which I enjoy and I swim and so we do that too psychologically, emotionally, and spiritually. The more we can practice gratitude, the studies have shown that our brain lights up and the more we practice gratitude, the more our brain starts to recognize that it's a gift. And it's incredible. Your brain can get more sophisticated just by practicing gratitude. But there are people who feel entitled, like I'm so smart, I'm, the, I'm number one in my class, and then they don't get to see how much they're, they should be thanking their parents and their grandparents for sacrifices or their teachers. Part of wisdom, and this is a study in China, is HI, humility, that like, like if you realize, oh, there's more I have to learn, then the more receptive you are, the more you do learn. But if you feel like, uh, you know, I worked hard for this and I deserve and you feel entitled, you are not going to be able to recognize how important gratitude is. So um, that's something culturally that we can all work on, practicing gratitude. Thank you.